Van Venture Part 3. Proceeding from the Cracker Barrel in Ocala, down to Brooksville for the ride to eat at the Coney Island, and then on to Largo where I'm staying a few days at my friend's condo. Well, good morning, everybody. We are here in the parking lot of Cracker Barrel in uh, Ocala, Florida. And as you can see, we got a bit of uh, frost on the windows. It was about 47 degrees this morning when we got up. Anyway, it was, it was a good night. Uh, we slept good here. Very quiet location here um, at this particular Cracker Barrel. Uh, even though we're right off the highway, uh, the parking lot is large. It's set back uh, across the street from the actual restaurant. And so there's very little traffic here other than uh, mostly uh, people that are staying the night pulling in and parking. Um, during the night, very quiet. As you saw from the foggy window, um, we've got a beautiful day, sunny, a little cool. Uh, it's still about 48 degrees, but uh, it, it's a lot better than what we've had the last two days, which has been all rain. So the agenda for today, um, we're going to head across the street and get our breakfast here at Cracker Barrel and then slowly wind our way over to Brooksville to the Coney Island for the um, RTE. Technically, that's a ride to eat. And I'm just riding on four wheels, uh, meeting a bunch of motorcycle buddies there from over the years. And uh, we're going to have a Coney Island lunch. It's an annual um, New Year's Eve uh, an event. And uh, I went last year, had a good time. And then from there, we'll be moving on down to Largo, where we'll stay for the next few days. So, uh, With that, I'm going to bid adieu. I don't know if Maggie wants to come over here. Maggie, you want to come say hi? Nope, she's in the seat. Um, she doesn't want to come over today. <laughs> she's still not wide awake, I don't think. But uh, So we will bid adieu and uh, shut the camera off and uh, head inside the restaurant and get our breakfast. So take care. Uh, we'll talk to you down the road a piece. Bye-bye.
and here we are pulling in at the Coney Island. Coney Island Drive-In, Brooksville, Florida. Going to meet some of our friends here and have ourselves a nice little uh, hot dog gathering. And this spot here looks like it was made for me because it's extra long. So we'll just pull into it. Okay, well, we made it safe and sound. Uh, we're a little bit early, about uh, 30 minutes early, but that's normal for us. Uh, we didn't know how long it was going to take. We took the back roads and it was quicker than I thought, which is okay. I've got Maggie here and uh, I'll take her out for a walk and then I'll take her back and get her some snacks. So uh, good drive in this morning, no issues and a uh, little bit overcast now, but a lot, of, a lot of patches of blue. So we've had sun and at least doesn't look like rain. So um, been a good day. Looking forward to meeting the people here shortly and uh, getting us some Coney Island hot dogs. Catch you down the road. Bye-bye. Well, we're getting ready to depart the Coney Island in Brooksville and head down to Largo. Uh, we had a good time. Uh, fun eating the Coney dogs and visiting with the people. Not as many um, as last year. But we still had a good time and uh, it was enjoyable. Well worth the stop. So anyway, time to get ourselves back on the road here. And uh, slowly work our way down. Should be about uh, about two hours roughly. Uh, depending on traffic in Tampa. So take care. We'll catch you all down the road a piece. Bye bye. Okay, we have arrived. Uh, we are here in Largo, and we're just coming around into Shadow Lakes Condominiums, which is where my friend lives, and it's where I'm going to uh, Mooch Dock Park and uh, buy her condo. And uh, whoops, I just missed a turn here. Let's uh, tell him I don't come here that often. <laughs> Try this again. Plenty of speed bumps in here. Here we are. Straighten out and get into this visitor spot in a nice fashion. And then be good to go. 
Maggie's itching. <laughs> she knows we're, we're stopping. <laughs> She's all over the place. Anyway, we are destinated. Uh, Miss Maggie says uh, thank you. Tell, tell them thank you. Say say bye-bye. Thank you for watching and uh, traveling with us. We'll be staying here for a few days before we move on. So uh, I've got some friends to see here and a granddaughter to see. So everybody take care out there and uh, we'll talk to you again soon on our way down the road. Well, good morning. I'm here at my friend's condo in Largo, Florida. Uh, we got in here the other day. This is actually day three of four days here in Largo. Just thought I'd give you a brief update on what's been going on with us. We've, the van has been parked um, at her condo, and uh, Maggie and I are staying, uh, staying here and uh, visiting her and her daughters. Uh, they're from New Hampshire, know them all, and also I have a granddaughter here in Largo. So, uh, last night we went out to dinner where the granddaughter works, works in a restaurant and uh, spent a little time with her while she waited on us and we had dinner there and had a nice little visit. Uh, today, um, the granddaughter's off and her boyfriend's off and Maggie and I are going to load into the van and head over to their place and spend the afternoon with them, which we're really looking forward to and uh, haven't seen her since last year until last night. So, uh, Maggie's resting on the chair here next to me. And uh, tomorrow will kind of be a laid-back day and uh, just kind of kick back and relax, uh, get things ready, because Saturday morning I pull out in the van again and uh, start heading for a little cruise. Uh, we'll be seeing five friends over six days as we travel. Uh, one stop will be two days, all the rest will just be one day, and we'll be mostly mostly mooch docking uh, in parking lots, uh, uh, driveways rather. And I do have one harvest host scheduled in there, and uh, probably uh, when I go see Steve, maybe it may be a night at a campground. So that's what we got coming up. Uh, it's been a good trip so far. We're looking forward to uh, a few more days of um, travel and fun and meeting friends and uh, seeing people we haven't seen in a while. So hope your new year has started off well, as mine has, and uh, uh, take care. Be safe out there, and we'll catch you down the road a piece.